Hi everybody, I'm Derek from Ritter Creek at RitterCreek.com and uh, today we're doing post number 89. So um, the first thing on the list is the new rat charts. Um, it's going to have uh, 16 additional pages and um, all the new information to do with the uh, Italians that were added during um, the Frank Tsirar number 14 and uh, all the Korean stuff. So. That'll be nice. Um, 16 pages, a whole bunch of new charts and um, new nationality stuff and um, must have. Pretty cool. I don't know if this is the last one he'll make, but um, probably be the last one for a while. So uh, that should be here um, in June. So we're taking orders now and then we'll ship them out because we get them from um, Europe. They, uh, they come in batches and when they're sold out, it's sometimes months and months before we get more. So make sure you grab yours. All right, um, next thing is the expansion pack for starter kit number two. And the big difference that I've noticed is it's not a standalone product like most of the uh, starter kit stuff. So you do have to, it says you do have to own starter kit one, two, three, and four. So, um, but it looks good. So more Japanese stuff. So that's always fun. And uh, I guess there'll be a little bit more rules in it. Okay, uh, that's on pre-order. That you don't have to pay for it in advance. You just put your pre-order in. If you still want it when we get it, then you can pay for it at that time. Um, I added a uh, link to a video I made for Paradrop. So the last one I did was on gliders. This is Paradrop, so now you can play like the Crete module. And um, I think I got it right. I mean, I'm no expert in any of this stuff, but I think I got it right. So you could, uh, you could play some of the um, Pegasus Bridge Krita, um, some of the other stuff. Uh, there were a bunch of uh, scenarios that were in the old annuals that uh, were also, I think they were re-released in um, for King and Country, where the um, where the British would come down on Creed on Melamy Airfield. So uh, that should help out with those uh, with those glider landings and the para paratroop landings. I think I think those ones for for Crete in the annuals were all glider, so I don't think they were. There are any paratroops, but there are, you know, plenty of scenarios where you can learn those skills. Um, next, we're gonna have a contest. So I include it on the website, and it's pretty simple. It's just do your best to to uh, uh, think of the most likely way to win that scenario as the Germans, and uh, it's the last turn for the Germans. The uh, Russians get one more turn after that, and. Um, yeah, so that's it. I played that recently against JR and that scenario, and I was the Germans, and I blew it. I totally blew it. Not because the dice blew it for me, I just blew it. So I didn't think of the right way to do it. Um, so now I'm wondering if you can. All right, um, next thing. Oh, for the contest, there's a super nifty prize. So it's gonna be this limited edition, and I'll give you guys a choice of colors, but it's a limited edition ammunition box that my son made on um, his 3D printer. And you can see it says uh, it's an ammunition box for an 88 for 88 shells. So, um, and then on the side, it's with 100, 100 first heavy tank battalion. Um, I guess that's Michael Whitman's unit. So, oh, and, but, but yeah, what's inside. So it opens up, actually this whole thing comes off and then you have some stack guards inside, so. So it's nice and transportable and it's free if you win the contest so if um so i'll judge who's got who's got the best answer and if there's multiple ones that are similar then we'll just randomly draw it and it's yours um after that there is there is an interview on two half squads where i'm very humbled that they wanted to interview me and uh, we had a blast i love those guys they're so much fun just to talk to i could have talked to them for 10 hours just talk and talk and um, it's a little over an hour and um, if you have any interest I, I always love the the two half squad stuff I don't want to push this particular episode because it's it's a little bit like hey listen to me you know but listen to all of them they're all super good and uh, where the iron crosses grow team tournament we're still day by day um, just just waiting for this to this to kind of kind of get back to normal before we put anybody's lives at risk Okay, well, thanks for watching, and I really hope to get you out something soon. I have another really, really nifty project with my son on the 3D printer, way cooler than this one, and uh, 
not sure if we're going to sell it or just give it away or, you know, just do it as a promotion or a contest or something, but it's really, really neat. Okay. All right. So, uh, stay tuned for that for our next one and it should be on that. Take care. Please stay safe and uh, stay healthy. So I want to, want to see you guys all in October soon. All right. Bye-bye.